Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Overwatch Season 16 dropped recently. This guide is going to walk you through the best settings on your windows as well as your game to improve FPS, fix lags, stutter and input latency. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. start with the step number one that is the best window settings for that you have to search for settings on your pc and once you're over here you have to go down to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since game bar is an overlay service turning it on will lead to performance issues after that go back to gaming head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on game mode particularly helped me to improve my fps and made my game stable by disabling unwanted services in the background and i would recommend you guys to do it as well right after that you'll find graphic settings simply click on that and over here you have to enable optimizations for windowed games just in case you are using frame generation in the game after that click on advanced graphic settings and over here default high performance gpu select your dedicated graphic card right after that click on the add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your game once you find it simply select overwatch.exe and then click on the add button that is already added scroll down to find it and select it for the gpu preference select high performance over here with your specific gpu one if you have that Click on optimizations for windowed games and once that is done, you should be good with it. After that, head over to personalization and then click on colors. Right over here, you find something called transparency effects, which you want to have to turn off. This will disable transparency effects on your windows settings and windows applications. Step number two is compatibility settings. And for that, go to the download location of your game. Once you're here, right click on your game and then head over to its properties. Click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Also change high DPI settings and select this option. After that, click on OK, click on apply and that should be it. Next step is fixing input latency. And for that, you have to search for mouse settings over here. Then click on additional mouse settings. Once you're here, head over to pointer options and then uncheck enhanced pointer precision. If you guys are using your laptop trackpad, keep it on. But if you guys are using a dedicated mouse, turn this thing off. It will make your mouse movements one to one and it will help you to improve input latency in the games. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Right over here, click on enter and then click on adjust for best performance. Then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will disable all kind of animations on your PC, helping you to improve your performance by a bit. After that, click on apply and that should be it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Once you're here, click on your local disk C and then click on create. Name it Overwatch 2 so you can remember it and press enter. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is Overwatch 2 season 16 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find six simple folders over here. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority. Over here, I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. You can apply it according to your processor. I have an AMD processor, so I need to apply the AMD processor priority right over here. It could be different, so you can check it according to your PC. Second folder is Overwatch 2 priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Third one is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this registry. Could be different for you so you can apply it from the preset list and if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can reset it to default right over here fourth one is the power plan settings and this is one of the most important parts right over here first run this as administrator and this will add a new power plan into your power plan list once you done it simply right click and run it as administrator once that is done it will show you like this press any key to continue after that, double click on power plans and right over here, click on show additional plans. Right over here, it should have added ultimate performance. Select that and simply close this. Next step is disabling unwanted services on your PC. And right over here are some services which you cannot disable otherwise. Simply double click and disable every single one of them, except if you use any Bluetooth services or any printer services. I would recommend you guys to leave these two as it is and disable every single one of them right over here. It will help you to boost your FPS drastically. Last is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files, which will help you to clean your cache files. Right click on it and run it as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to continue. Simply press enter and all of those temporary files would be deleted. Enter once 
once again and next is MSI mode utility 3.0 right click in run it as administrator once you're in this software you guys have to locate your graphic card for me it is right over here ensure that the MSI button is checked right in front of it and for the interrupt priority select high this will help you to improve the interrupt priority of your GPU allowing it to perform much better without overclocking it once that is done simply close it and close the FES pack next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor you have to find edit group policy right over here and press enter this will open up the local group policy editor what you guys have to do is double click on computer configuration administrative templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find a lot of policies what you guys are specifically looking for is let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and then make sure that this is set to enable this will enforce the policy over the default policies and default for all applications should be set to force deny click on apply and then click on ok and this will disable all of the applications running in the background which will help you to improve the performance while you are playing the games once that is done simply close it next step is fixing all of your ping packet loss and network issues using no ping for which you guys can go to the link in the description below and download a seven days free trial once you open up the software it should look like this and it offers you more than 1000 games to choose from simply look for overwatch 2 right over here and click on the game after that click on choose automatic because it will automatically select the nearest region to you click on the continue button and it will show you the server which offers you the lowest ping simply click on optimize game and it will one click connect your pc straight to the game servers without any hindrance which will help you to fix all of your ping packet loss and network stuttering issues the best part about no ping is the boost fps section but if you enable these settings it will help you to boost your fps drastically some of which is enable home gaming mode disable chrome telemetry disable cortana disable dynamic ticks disable edge telemetry Firefox Elementary, Disable Windows Game Bar, Disable Hibernation, Remove Network Bandwidth Limits, Disable Microsoft Office Telemetry, Disable Power Saving Features, Enable High Performance Mode. Once you're done with that, you guys will also get better FPS in the games. I personally use Noping for myself and I would recommend you guys to go check it out for yourself to improve your gameplay and your network and FPS issues. Links are down in the description below. Once you're done with all that, now you guys can drop into the game with the best in-game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, what you have to do is press your escape key and then head over to options. And right over here, you have to go down to the video settings and then in the video section, make sure that you have selected your GPU to your primary GPU. For the graphics API, I would recommend you guys to go with DX12 if your PC allows that. But here are the settings for DX11. For display mode, go with full screen. Display resolution should be best match. Then for the resolution, you have to go all the way down until you find the highest refresh rate possible. For the aspect ratio, go with 16 is to 9 if that is your monitor's aspect ratio. For dynamic render scale, I would recommend you guys to turn it off. But if your PC is very low end, you guys can keep it on. And for the render scale, go with custom. And for the minimum in-game resolution, go with 80. And the in-game resolution, go with 95. This will make your frame rate more stable. For frame rate, go with custom and then for the maximum frame rate, go with the highest available. For the desired frame rate, you can go with the refresh rate of your monitor. For me, it would be 170 hertz. V-Sync should be turned off, triple buffering should be turned off and reduced buffering should be turned on. Gamma correction, contrast and brightness is a user preference. Once you're done with that, press your Y key and this will apply the settings. Once you're done with that, head over to the graphics quality. Over here, I would recommend you guys to set the high quality upsampling to AMD FSR 2.2. Anti-aliasing should be selected by your PC. For texture quality, go with high. Texture filtering quality, go with ultra or epic. Local fog detail, go with low. Model detail, you guys can go with high. Shadow detail, medium. Effects detail, medium. Lighting quality, medium. Refraction quality, low. Then for ambient occlusion, I would recommend you guys to go with off. But if your PC allows it, you can also go with medium. Dynamic reflections, off. Local reflections, off. And damage FX, you guys can go with default. After that, head over to the details section. And then enable the performance stats. Frame rate, GPU temperature network latency should be turned on and then press Y. Once all of that is done, you guys can press your escape key, go back into your game and enjoy the highest FPS available. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.